the lightsaber giveaway continues. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn notifications on, and let me know in the comments what your all-time favorite lightsaber is. Before the video begins, I do want to make it clear that there are major spoilers for Solo, a Star Wars story, so if you have not seen the film, please do so before watching. In Solo, to the surprise of us all, Maul was revealed to be the mastermind behind the entire heist of the film. Subsequently, he was also revealed as the crime boss behind both Dryden Voss as well as Kira. Via a hologram in the film, we see Maul converse with Kira as he ignites his lightsaber, but not the lightsaber he used in his only other film appearance in The Phantom Menace but a new lightsaber entirely. A lightsaber we have never seen on film before, but actually we have seen it and know quite a little about Maul's new lightsaber. Several years ago, during Maul's initial return to the Clone Wars show, he used the broken but still functional lower half of his original dual-bladed lightsaber. However, in Solo, we see that he has now constructed a new double-bladed lightsaber entirely. To explain how Maul got this new lightsaber, we have to explain another dark side group that rose under the command of Darth Vader after the rise of the Empire. The origins of this group, which play out in the Vader comic series, set immediately after Revenge of the Sith. After Vader was reconstructed using cybernetics, he was shown to a group of Darksiders that Palpatine tells him he has been training to hunt down and kill all remaining Jedi. Palpatine made this group to hunt down those that survived the initial stage of Order 66 so that Vader would not have to hunt Jedi alone. Almost all of these Darksiders, known as Inquisitors, are former Jedi themselves, as well as carry a unique double-bladed lightsaber that spins at the hilt. The reason for this, it is explained, is to throw surviving Jedi off during lightsaber fights as to overwhelm them through shock and awe tactics. These Inquisitors play a major role in the Star Wars animated series which has since concluded in Star Wars Rebels. Although these Inquisitors were ordered to hunt down Jedi, one of them was ordered to hunt down Maul, who Sidious knew was still alive after the Clone Wars. One day, this Inquisitor did in fact find Maul. However, Sidious had only referred to Maul to the Inquisitors as the Shadow. Using his training as a true Dark Lord of the Sith, Maul easily defeated the Inquisitor that was sent to kill him. After defeating the Inquisitor, Maul salvaged pieces of his lightsaber and used what was left of his original double-bladed lightsaber to create the new weapon we see in the Solo film as well as the lightsaber he used over the course of Star Wars Rebels. This is why, as we can see, the Inquisitor lightsaber looks very similar to Darth Maul's new double-bladed lightsaber. Maul actually developed it after he killed the Inquisitor and then took pieces of his lightsaber and made a new weapon entirely, a weapon that he had originally trained with and was more familiar with. To briefly summarize, after an Inquisitor was sent to eliminate Maul, Maul killed him and took his lightsaber, or at least pieces of it, combining it with his original lightsaber that was cut in half by Obi-Wan Kenobi and created the new double-bladed weapon we see in Solo. But that is an explanation for Darth Maul's new lightsaber, so let me know what you think about the design in the comments down below, and which lightsaber do you prefer, Maul's original weapon or this new one? Again, don't forget to enter the lightsaber giveaway, may the force be with you and have a great day.